Hello students, welcome back to the fifth video of this playlist. So in this video, we will be solving the fifth question of the latest, latest paper of Mechanics 1, that is October 2024 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number five from this paper is about. Question number five, you can see on the screen. So basically the concepts behind question number five it's from connected particles and uh, something yeah something related to pulleys that has been discussed these concepts are discussed in chapter number four that is dynamics of a particle moving in a straight line so in order to be able to solve this question definitely you should have practiced sufficient questions from chapter number four of your mechanics one textbook so let's get started with question number five okay so here you can see right at the beginning a figure three is given particle p particle q these are hanged over a pulley so two particles p and q have masses three kg and five kg respectively the particles are connected by a light inextensible string light inextensible string means what it's it's light it's not that heavy that means mass is negligible which passes over a small smooth fixed pulley small smooth smooth means what it's not rough it has no irregular surfaces that means it has no friction these are basically modeling assumptions as per we learned from chapter one okay the particles are released from rest with the string dot the string is tightened okay the and the hanging parts of the string vert string vertical as shown in figure 3 the string is vertical okay immediately after the particles are released from rest p moves upward with acceleration a meter per second squared and the tension in the string is t newtons okay the tension in the string is what t newtons okay most importantly here most of the students feel difficulty uh, difficult to figure out the direction of the tension it's not that difficult have a look on it tension tension is basically always the pulling force okay tension means what pulling force whenever you see tension that means it's basically pulling force so wherever there is tension the two particles will be pulling each other that means the pulley will pull the particle p in the upward direction and the particle p will pull the pulley in the downward direction this is the direction of tension for p and the pulley same goes for q upward for q and downward for the pulley this is the direction for tension fine so that's how you can Keep in mind like how to consider the direction of tension fine okay so part a is asking here to write down an equation of motion for what P so for particle P we need to write an equation for its motion okay so in which direction particle me is P, particle P is moving it's moving upward right okay we okay so for particle p what are the forces acting what are the forces acting on the particle p if you consider this is particle p the tension force acts upward right its weight is acting downward right uh, what's the weight of particle p this is 3 g newton isn't it 3 g newton g newton acts upward its acceleration is what in the upward direction so an equation for particle motion of particle p would be what taking upward take upward uh we are taking upward positive so that would be a tension t minus 3g equals to 3a fine this is the equation for the motion of particle p and that's what part a has asked for okay next is part b 
So part B is asking to find the value of T. Okay, we need to find out the tension of this pulley system. The tension in the system. Okay. So for finding the tension, already in part A we derived, we have got an equation for the motion of particle P. So as like as that, we will derive another equation for what? For the particle Q. Okay. So uh, for Q only taking downward for P we took upward as positive to make to keep the relationship with that we will take for particle Q downward as positive okay so for particle Q what are the forces acting on particle Q tension force is pulling it upward right not pushing remember tension is always pulling force okay and in the downward direction what is acting its weight weight is 5 g newton okay its weight is what 5 g newton okay acceleration is also downward okay so for particle q we can write what downward is 5 g 5 g minus t this is equals to 5 a okay so from this equation we can make a the subject because we need to find out t so we need to eliminate a so let's make a the subject so you'll get 5g minus capital t over 5 okay and previously we got what in part a we got an equation for particle p so from there also make a the subject so if you make a the subject what you will get uh, t minus 3g over 3 t minus 3g t minus 3g over 3 we got two equation equations for acceleration right a so these are both equal because the string is light inextensible and it is what connecting both the particles p and q so 5g minus t over 5 equals to what t minus 3g over what 3 now cross multiply if you do cross multiplication you will get 15 g minus 3 t equals to 5 t minus what 15 g <clears throat> fine okay so take 3 t to the right side so you'll get uh what 8 t so 8 t equals to 15 g plus 15 g okay 15 g minus 3 t 15 g plus 15 g this is what 30 g that's fine Okay, so the value for T is 30 G over 8, which is what? 15 over 4 G Newton, which is basically up to three significant, significant figures. Uh, 15 over 4 times 9.8. This is basically 36.75. So we can write 36.8 Newton. Okay, two significant figure will we'll also do no problem because as per the standard of the question, it's mentioned at the beginning of the in the in the front page of this question of, of all of the questions that you can write to two significant figures or three significant figures if nothing is mentioned in the question. So we got the value for T up to three significant figures, which is 36.8 that's it okay next is part C part C is asking here okay it's it's saying that the, the total force acting on the pulley due to the string has magnitude F Newtons okay so C is asking to find the value of F we need to find out the magnitude of the force acting on the pulley so if you consider the pulley if you consider the pulley okay if you see the pulley like on the pulley what are the forces acting one of the tension is acting on the pulley due to the string connecting particle P this is the tension from particle P another tension for particle Q so that means what the force acting on particle on the pulley is basically twice of what T twice of T is what two times 15 over 4g that would give you 
what 15 over 2g so 15 over 2g so 15 over 2g is how much 15 over 2 times 9.8 that would give you 73.5 did they ask for the value or the force okay the value of f so the value of f is what 73.5 that's it we don't need units because they asked for the value fine okay next is part d part d before part d they are saying initially q is 10 meter above the horizontal ground and p is more than 2 meter below the pulley q is 10 meter above the horizontal ground you can see on the figure 3 and p is more than 2 meter below the pulley okay at the instant when q has descended a distance of 2 meter after q has descended 2 meter downward the string breaks the string has broken and q falls to the ground okay the particle q falls to the ground okay so after descending for 2 meter after descending for how much 2 meter so particle q the system has accelerated for what this 2 meter distance that 2 meter height okay now part d is asking to find the speed of q at the instant when it hits the ground okay so after the string has broken the particle q will be freely falling under the force of gravity and it will hit the ground with a speed of v meter per second okay we need to find out that speed v fine okay so at first we need to find out the initial velo initial speed of particle q this is basically the speed when the string has been broken okay so this speed is what for this speed we need the acceleration of the system right so a equals to what acceleration of the system uh, acceleration a is equals to how much we know the equation earlier in part uh, B we did we got two equations 5g minus t over 5 okay so 5g minus t this is 15 over 2g over what 15 over 2g okay uh, 5g 5g minus 15 over 2g over 5 this is the what acceleration okay so 5g minus 15 over 2g 5g 15 over 2 is 7.5 right it gives negative Oh, the value of t is 15 over 4, not 2. Okay, okay, okay. This is 15 over 4g. Okay, so uh, what would be the acceleration here? 5g minus 15 over 4g. So 5 minus 15 over 4, that would give you 5 over 4 over 5. This is basically what? 1 over 4g. Okay, this is 1 over 4g meter per second square. We got the acceleration. Now use this acceleration to find out the speed of Q when the string has been broken. Okay. So uh, use this will be the initial speed, right? So we will use what uh, the this descended height is h. H is what two meter, right? Acceleration is one over four g meter per second square. Uh, and what what else we know the initial speed the system was initially at rest right so this is the scenario so we will use this formula v square equals to u square plus twice of a s from there we need to find out the final velocity right so v equals to square root of twice of acceleration is 1 over 4 g times so this is basically the speed is what square root of g meter per second <clears throat>
So we got the speed of the particle queue when the string is getting what broken. Okay. So after the string has broken, this v will be now the initial because with that speed it will start to move freely under the force of gravity okay u equals to what square root of g meter per second fine okay now we need to find out the v the v is basically the speed when it is hitting the ground finally okay so for finding v what are the values we know height travel this is 8 meter because initially particle q was at 10 meter height then it descended for 2 meter then the string has broken and then remaining distance is how much 10 minus 2 this is 8 meter acceleration is equals to g meter per second square the uh, gravity the force of gravity so v square equals to what u square plus twice of as so we need to find out v so v equals to what square root of u square u square is g plus twice of 8 times g so how much is this square root of uh, 6 17 g 17 g meter per second so this speed is basically square root of 17 times 9.8 that would give you 12.9 12.9 meter per second this is the speed when the particle Q is hitting the ground okay and that's what exactly part D of question number 5 has asked for that's it and that's the end of question number 5 from mechanics 1 October 2024 paper that's it